Hi everybody, this is Todd Brannon. I am the Accidental Excellus. This is video number 13 in a series on creating a CRUD style app in uh, Microsoft Access. So we've got this basic uh, customers um, database application that we're building. We've got our customers table. This is just a single table, simple no multiple tables no queries or joins or anything like that we're actually just focusing on the front end where we we're creating forms to view all of our data enter new data things like that so we've got our single table table sorry and if i double click that you can see what we've got here if uh, you're just jumping in on this video we've got several um, columns or fields of basic customer data we've got a customer id name email address, sign up date, address, so on and so forth. And then we've created three forms so far. Uh, the big big one is the new customer form. So this is where we would enter new data. Um, the way I've opened it up here, it's just showing the uh, existing data. But if I close that, let me go back. Here's our main form. So we've created this main form, which will be sort of our main uh, centerpiece of the uh, application so to speak so this is where we're going to set this file to open up to and then you can decide do i want to view the current data in the customer's database or do i want to add a new customer so we've uh, placed these buttons here and then we'll have a button here for uh, which we already do have uh, for exiting the app so we'll fix that or actually uh, code that to close the file for us a little bit later on in a in a future video so if i click on add new it takes us to the add new customer form if you want to if you're just now jumping in and you've missed this part be sure and go back and watch the previous videos if you'd like to catch up we go through everything we build this uh, form from the ground up from a design standpoint we do all the uh, necessary uh, code and what have you to um, ensure that it enters in the new data the way we want to uh, tab sequence all that stuff so we create the buttons and all that so if you're just now jumping in be sure and go back and watch the rest of the videos and get caught up and uh, you can create this app along with us so i click that close button it takes us back to the main form so what we need to do what we were doing in the last video we were working on this all customers form and so what we did was we limited the number of fields that we want to view in this form to keep it simple. So we just want to be able to see the customer ID, first name, last name, and email address. If we want to see further detail for one of these records, we've created the detail button in order to open that same form that we use for the new customer or adding a new customer that same template so that's what we're going to do in this video we're going to create that form and then we will set it up to where this detail button will open up that form to whichever one of these records uh, on on the row that you click on the detail I don't know if I said that that was a very convoluted way to say that so let me try again so what I mean is if we click on the detail button for this row where 4009 is, it will open up a form that looks like the new customer form, but have all the details for that record pre-populated within the form where you can edit, save the changes, or if you in fact want to just delete the record, we will set that up. We'll put a delete button in that form. So let's get to it. All right, so to make things um, easy and efficient, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm going to highlight the new customer form over here in the, uh, on the left-hand side here where we have our um, navigation, uh, what you might call it, the uh, navigation pane. Sorry, I couldn't think of pane. Uh, so I'm gonna highlight new customer. I'm going to um, press Control C and then I'm gonna press Control V. And so, this comes up, paste as copy of new customer. I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK right now so I know what it is. We'll rename this here shortly. So I'm gonna double click copy of new customer and you can see this is an exact copy of the new customer form. Now I'm gonna to go to design view and one of the first things I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna go up here to the label and I'm gonna take this new out and I'm just gonna change this to say um, customer detail. And enter out of that. Okay, so 
Now the caption is changed over here in the property sheet. You see all that. Uh, the close button should still work. I mean, that's the great thing about taking this and making a copy of it as a template is everything like our, our save button, our close button, things like that, everything works the way it already works in the new customer form. But one thing we've got to do now is we want this to open up to a specific record. So now let's go over here to our uh, form name and let me right click and let's go down to we see rename. And uh, I'm sorry, we can't do that while it's still open. Let me close this. It'll ask us to save it. Uh, click yes. Now let me do this. Let me right click again. Let's go to rename. And then we'll call this customer detail. All right. So now I'm going to go. Um, actually, right now I need to. Here's. Um, so now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and we should have done this already, but let's go ahead and set our view all button to open up the all customers form before we go to the all customers form and uh, ensure that the detail button opens up the customer detail form. So let's do that real quick. Let's go uh, with the uh, main form open. Let's go to des design view. Let's click on view all. Now we'll go over here to the property sheet. Make sure you have that open. Go to event and on click, we're going to click that um, those three dots and we're going to go to macro builder. And in the macro builder, you uh, should be getting used to this by now. We're going to just start typing open form and uh, I'll click tab or uh, press tab. Sorry. Uh, form name is going to be view. I'm sorry. All customers. And then um, that will be, yeah, so that should be good. There's nothing else we need to do on that one. I do want to add another action here. I want to uh, close the uh, main. We've done this before. So I'm going to go close form, uh, close window, sorry, not close form. Uh, press tab and the object type will be form. And then the object uh, name will be main. All right, so let's go ahead and let's save that, close it, and then go back to uh, form view. And now when we click on view all, and yes, I need to save those changes, uh, that brings us there. So one of the things that I don't know if you've noticed it, but we have an issue here uh, because we, um, we don't have a close button on our all customers form, but that's easy enough. So let's go back up here to design view with that one open and let's add a button. You've done this a few times if you've been following along. So this is easy stuff. It, again, it's in the controls group here on the design tab. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to kind of align that with the detail button in the lower section just to kind of make it look, you know, somewhat professional. Uh, this will be a closed form. So we're going to go to form operations. We're going to close the form. We will add the open form action here in a minute. Um, let me just go in here and tweak this a little bit. Again, this is personal preference. If you want to use one of these other buttons with the pictures, you're welcome to do that. That is neither here nor there. So just uh, choose, you know, the you know the way you want your button to look. And now I'm going to click next, and this is going to be close all customer. BTN. I'm just going to go with that. So we'll click finish. All right. So that should work. I kind of change the size on me there. Automatically try to get that back to where I want it. And let's click on this uh, while the button is uh, the close button is highlighted or selected, I guess. Let's go over here to the uh, triple dot button again. And you can see it's already got this close window action because we uh, use the wizard. I'm going to add a new action and that's going to be um, open form. And this is going to be main. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all I need to do. Save, close. All right. So let's go back to form view and let me go back to design view real quick. That's going to bug me. I don't like, I want it to be similar in size to the detail button few things there. I like that a little better. I guess it was okay. The other, eh, hold on. Being 
a little bit obsessive about that, but that's the way I am. So, all right, so I like that better. Um, now, if I click on this, it should close this form and take us back to main. Yes, I forgot to save the changes, so we're good to go there. So now we click on view all, it gets us to the all customers form. Of course, I got to close and we can toggle back and forth. We're, uh, we're, we're cooking on that one, so cool. All right, so the next thing I need to do is go to um, design view in our all customers form. I'm going to click on the detail for uh, the detail button. I'm sorry. Make sure that's selected, and then go to on click again for um, the detail button in the property sheet. Click on those uh, three dots again. We'll go to macro builder. Now we're going to um, open form. That'll be our action tab. The form name is going to be uh, what do we call that? Customer detail. All right, very good. And then um, actually on this one, I don't want to close the all customers form. I just kind of want to have that open because that's really okay. Because what we'll do is we'll put uh, the close button on the uh, customer detail form. We'll just close that form and it'll take us back to that list. And that's kind of that's kind of the way I want to map out the navigation of this. So again, it's up to you if you want to play around with that and you want it to close the um, the uh, all customers form you're welcome that's that's completely fine so uh and in fact i would encourage you to play around with different scenarios and see what you like and uh it's a good way to practice so i'm going to click save close that and um i'm trying to think let's let's just test this out um so i'm going to go to detail there we go 4003 let's close that um yeah i don't know if i like that uh hold on yeah, that's closing it back. Oh, that's right. That's closing it back going to the main. Hold on. So close this. I want this to take me back to the all customers form. And I'm trying to remember now why the main form is showing up. I think I'm moving too fast from even myself. Um, so if I close the all customers form, let's save those changes. Let me go back to view all. Let's close that. Takes me back to main view all. Um, detail takes me to, yeah, that's not right. Something's not right. Let me go back to view all. That was working. Detail 4003. It's taking me to 4003. Um, let me see. And all customers remains open. I closed that. It's going back to main. We got to fix this. So first thing I want to fix is kind of the easy thing. So let me go to detail. I actually want this to just close the form, not go back to main. Oh, I know why. Uh, because we made a copy of the new customer form. That's So I need to change this because, I mean, it's up to you if you want it to go back to the main form, but I don't. I'm going to go to design view and click on that close button to select it. And I'm going to go in here, click on the triple dot. And what I want to do is tweak this. So... Um, I do want it to close the window, but the form, I don't want it to open a form. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that X and wait a minute. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm, we can go ahead and type form and then um, customer detail, right? Save that, close. Okay, let's go back to form view. Um, this will be closed. Yes, I need to save that. Okay, cool. So we go to detail, that's still not right. We'll fix that, but close just takes me back to the list, which is what I want. So we're good with that. And um, we'll fix this detail. We, we're, we're, we're making progress, but one thing we need to do is fix this to where it opens up on the, um, on the, the uh, record of the row, which we select the detail or click the detail button. So. Um, this video is getting a little long, so I'll cut it off there. And in the next video, we will address this issue. So see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.